Hi everyone, welcome to Forbes Slash. Thanks for joining us. We've got a bit of a politically focused episode this week. A lot happened in Washington. Let's talk about it from a Forbes angle. It was hard to miss the big event of the week, Robert Mueller's testimony. The former FBI director and special counsel sat before Congress in two hearings on Wednesday. The topic? His investigation into the 2016 presidential election. Most importantly, Mueller stressed that Russia's meddling in US politics is a big deal. We shouldn't be talking about it in the past tense because they're actively trying to meddle today. The situation, quote, deserves the attention of every American. As for the president, he said he wasn't going to watch Mueller's testimony, but he was certainly tweeting about it. Mueller stressed in the morning hearing that his report did not exonerate the president. He also clarified that Trump can be indicted after leaving office. Let's stick around in the nation's capital and take a look at our latest investigation into the personal fortunes of President Trump's cabinet officials. This week, White House Wallets takes a look at Betsy DeVos. The education secretary is the richest of Trump's cabinet members. For years, the extent of her finances have been a mystery. But our reporters have been able to determine the root of the DeVos family fortune. Amway, to come up with what we believe is the most realistic estimate of the size of her fortune published so far. Together, Betsy DeVos, her husband, and their four adult children are worth roughly $2 billion. While most of their fortune is made up of Amway stock, Betsy and her family likely also own 25% of the Orlando Magic basketball team. The rest of their fortune is made up of a portfolio of commercial real estate, private equity investments, mansions, and yachts. They have 10. Ethics laws don't require public officials like DeVos to break down their exact stake in an investment or what they've given to family members. Last but not least for our politically related news, the Justice Department has opened a broad antitrust review into whether big tech has stifled competition and harmed consumers. The move is another threat against companies, probably Google, Facebook, Apple, and Amazon, which are already dealing with separate antitrust probes from Congress and the FTC. What are they acting on? Quote, widespread concerns from consumers, businesses, and entrepreneurs about the power and dominance of big tech. Here's what Assistant Attorney General Makan Delrahim said about the matter. Quote, without the discipline of meaningful market-based competition, digital platforms may act in ways that are not responsive to consumer demands. The department's antitrust review will explore these important issues. And last but not least, I wanna end the episode with a fun story. Our list of the world's highest paid athletes came out this week. Spoiler alert, they're earning more than ever, thanks to soaring salaries. The list of 100 includes representatives of 10 different sports and athletes from 25 different countries. At the top is soccer or football player Lionel Messi, who has earned $127 million in the last year. 92 million of that comes directly from the sport, while 35 million can be attributed to endorsements. He's joined in the top three by fellow sportsmen Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar. Boxer Canelo Alvarez comes in fourth place with tennis player Roger Federer running out the top five. Despite not landing anyone in the top five, the NBA has 35 players in the list, with cumulative earnings of $1.3 billion. That makes sense. Basketball player salaries have skyrocketed. Plus, the salary cap has nearly doubled over the past five years. Check out how much your favorite athlete makes at Forbes.com athletes. Thanks for joining us for Forbes and Look at the News this week. As always, I love to hear your feedback. You can send it via hashtag Forbes slash. See you next week.